Yeah, she is. So the f what? Y'all like that clickbait title? I'm making it look like I was going to rant about the fact that she was black, but really I'm ranting about the fact that people are pissed off that she was black. Like what? Look, okay, so I just don't get it, I guess. I am somebody who, if you ask about my political affiliation, I'm probably going to tell you that I'm like right of center, but still pretty much center. So I'm not like flying off the handle right, but I'm also not like social justice warrior left. And I feel like that's where most people are when it comes to their political affiliation. We don't see that. We see complete polar opposites and that the country is so divided, there's no turning back. That's not how most people think. You ever heard of a bell curve? The bell curve fits with everything in life. Most people are gonna be center left, center or center right. It's rare you're gonna get people on the other end of the spectrum on either side don't listen to Fox News or CNN. That's not the way the real world works. But when I saw that we were ranting or that we were upset about the chick who was chosen to be Ariel in the live live action Little Mermaid, like when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's dope. And then all of a sudden I see people are outraged about it. Why are we outraged? We're outraged because she was white in the cartoon version. Mermaids are not real, bro. How are we getting upset that a black person was chosen for a character who that's a figment of somebody's imagination what and it's always it's like the it's like the prejudice comes out whenever it has to do with anybody in any movie i remember when james bond 007 first off people were already mad that daniel craig was was blonde hair and blue eyed because that's not the way james bond should look and then now that Daniel Craig is out, he's done with his uh, with his being James Bond. I know the front runner for a while was Idris Elba, and people were saying that he can't be it because 007 isn't black. Bro, he's a made up character. He's not an actual person. 007 is a code name, ladies and gentlemen. So anybody literally could be 007. We were just mad because Idris Elba's black. That's the only reason we we're mad about that, and we're mad that if that if she is ariel who cares go see the movie regardless we get one character in disney who was portrayed to be white in the original movie and then now is black in the live action movie and everybody's up in arms y'all know that y'all whitewashed jesus and everybody in all of the movies in the 60s or 40s or whenever when whenever the 10 commandments was shot y'all think egyptians are white you think jesus is white Jesus is Middle Eastern, ladies and gentlemen. He's darker than I am. Bro, I just don't get it. Like, I'm not I'm not one to be crazy political, but it's just so hypocritical. They're trying to be inclusive because it's 2022. And on top of that, Chloe is... Is it Chloe? I'm going to keep saying her name. Hold on. Let me see. Is it Hale? Haley? Haley Bailey? Ain't no way her parents named her Haley, right? Haley Bailey? Miss Bailey is what I'm going to call her. We are trying to be more inclusive and break down, you know, break down social norms, especially in an industry where Caucasians and white actors are going to be prominent way over black actors and even those two categories way over Hispanic actors. Bro, the lead character in Psych, the main character in the in the show Psych, he is Hispanic. He is from San Antonio, where I'm from. He graduated from a school less than 15 miles from where I live, and he had to get a stage name because his last name, which is Hispanic, was not going to get him any roles because people want to see white people act, I guess. So the industry has always forced white actors over black and Hispanic actors. And now the industry is catching up and saying, you know what, maybe we should be a little more inclusive. How about we start with a fictional character of a fictional being that is a mermaid who doesn't exist. And everybody's outraged as if blackface didn't happen, as if people didn't paint their face black to keep black actors out there is literally zero reason to have outrage about a fictional character just because the cartoon was white is now african-american and to be fair if we go by the words and the gospel of lupe fiasco in his song wave files where slaves literally found second life and reincarnation as they jumped off the slave ships in the atlantic ocean to their death and now they are walking on the water down low and taking slave ships down. If there's going to be any human race that is a mermaid based on Lupe Fiasco's own writings, 
about the about slaves jumping off and coming to their second life it would it would literally be black people there's absolutely zero reason for the outrage of <laughs> Uh, of Little Mermaid being black, bro. Absolutely zero. And if you are outraged by it, you're entitled to that. You're entitled to that because you live in the United States where you get freedom of speech. And you're entitled to the fact that everything is based on the consumer. So if you don't want to watch the movie, don't go watch the movie. Your four-year-old that wants to go watch the movie Little Mermaid doesn't care whether or not Little Mermaid is black or white. You're the only one that cares. You're the only one that cares and you have to look in the mirror every day and think, damn, I might be slightly racist because they chose a black person and I'm upset about it for a character that doesn't even exist in the real world. Know what I mean?